What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Manchester City Liverpool big match preview analysis video. Let me know what do you think the result will be. This is a massive, massive game because whoever wins this game will be almost certainly in the top four but whoever loses will be dragged back down and the Manchester United at the moment are leading 2-0 against Middlesbrough so I think they will most likely win that game and then there will be just like a couple of points between Man United and uh, Liverpool so if Liverpool lose here they could be level on points with Man United if Man United win their game in hand so the, the stakes are huge for this one and Liverpool have quite a few injury problems uh, by the way, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comments below what, your, what is your prediction for this game and what is your prediction for the top four. What do you think the top four will be? I think Chelsea has already won the league. I think Tottenham might finish sec in second place uh, depending on how long Kane will be out for. It will be either Manchester City or Tottenham in uh, second and then Man City or Tottenham in third. And I will put my, my neck on the line here and say that Liverpool will finish fourth. I think they have just that little bit uh, more in the tank uh, because of, you know, less games uh, than the likes of Manchester United and Arsenal at the moment are in 3-4. So I decided not to include the likes of Firmino and Henderson who are out injured. And Klavan might start in this one, but uh, Lovren had another week's training under his belt, so he might be in the side. I wasn't sure which team, which which uh, centre back will play. Klavan could do a job on Aguero, uh, but you know Lovren is that little bit faster, so maybe Lovren will be, would be better against the likes of Sane and Sterling. The danger man for City will be, of course, the front three and Kevin De Bruyne. But what Liverpool need to do, and Jurgen Klopp talked about this pre-match, is not to be passive. Because if you sit back against Man City, they can hurt you with the world-class attackers that they, you have. But if you put them under pressure, if you, uh, you know, press them high up the pitch, then uh, you can have a lot of joy defensively. And Origi goes through, he clips the ball to the back post where Coutinho heads in the first goal. Let me know guys, do you prefer this uh, uh, type of FIFA 70 predicts video where I control one of the teams or would you prefer to just see the computer play out the game and me as a neutral commentating over it? So yeah, let me know what is your, your preferred choice. And Ryan Sterling really should have equalized there. I really hope that Sterling uh, doesn't have a world-class game because, you know, Liverpool sold uh, Sterling to Man City and the way Sterling, you know, left Liverpool, that still uh, hurts me to this day. I can completely understand his decision, though. He wanted to win trophies, and, but he only has a League Cup to show for it, uh, I think, and uh, no other uh, trophies uh, for Manchester City since that time that Sterling uh, went there. So yeah, let me know guys, uh, what do you think the top four will be? It's very hard to predict at the moment because the, there are so many awesome games uh, left in the competition. Also, this game is very hard to predict. Uh, Jurgen Klopp can't believe that didn't go in. So at the moment, Liverpool are in fourth place, but they are just one point behind Man City. But Man City claim, played one game less. So if Liverpool win here, then Liverpool could jump to third place. Uh, sorry, just to second place, uh, yeah, Tottenham will play Southampton at home, uh, that's not an easy game for Tottenham either, so I really hope that Tottenham will drop points uh, today, and I'm really, really looking forward to this game, I'm, I'm t I will try to do fans on live reactions for this game, I'm going out playing football in a bit, so um, it looks like that Liverpool hope Firmino will be fit for the game, and Dejan Lovren is fully fit after playing 75 minutes for the under-23s, but then he has Sturridge and Jordan Henderson are both sidelined. Sturridge still has a hip injury. It's so annoying that Sturridge just can't string like 10 games in a row where he plays every week and stays fit. Um, and Man City will be of course missing Gabriel Jesus, Ilkay Gundogan with long-term injuries. And uh, Guardiola could go with Yaya Toure and Otamendi after the duo were only unused substitutes against Monaco. Um, and also, Company is also hoping to earn a recall uh, 
despite uh, you know the city captain only making six appearances all season and i think man city's defensive problems have been down mostly to um to you know company not being fully fit because their center backs otamendi kolarov um stones they are just not good enough they've they spent an absolute fortune on center backs like 50 million on John Stones are you serious like almost uh, 40 million on Otamendi something like 35 million 30 million for Mangala and they are absolutely useless and little young Ben Woodburn the 70 year old striker comes on as a substitute and makes it 3 day Liverpool absolute dream scoreline how I would love to for Liverpool to repeat last season's performance where we came to the Etihad and we won 4-1 and I think I remember that game vividly that was the first game where Firmino really lit up the Premier League I think he scored and got an assist as well so really looking forward to that game uh, that, sorry really looking forward to this game and I'm really nervous guys I will be honest my prediction is actually a 1-1 draw but there will be goals I'm, I'm pretty sure of it that it could be a goal fest I, I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, it was a free all draw or something crazy like that so I think you guys here are in for a treat uh, in this game and uh, yeah on FIFA on Harden and legendary sliders I dominated Manchester City I just can hope and pray that Liverpool play anything like this in real life because then Liverpool will have a great uh, victory at Man City. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this, see you later, goodbye.